Hey everyone, it's Skylar. First of all, I need to apologise for not having doing this yesterday. For now, I'm just not going to get into it because I'm still feeling a little bit yucky. So, this was supposed to be done yesterday for Halloween. So, basically, this is three movies I have picked that I would generally would watch on Halloween or even any other time of the year. I generally love the first one we're about to watch and so I would watch this over and over again um, and the other the second one's a rewatch because I didn't really understand the story so I want to rewatch it again and the last one is actually a film I've heard so many things about so many good things about but I've never had the chance to watch it so and that will be our final movie in this movie marathon series so yeah so first up in our flea for all is Dick Masses Amsterdam from 1988 oh yeah the year Wardlow was born fuck me <laughs> yeah the year Wardlow was born we're starting with a movie that came out the year Wardlow was born awesome so yeah as always you are going to get my thoughts so yeah this is it this is Amsterdam's um, directed by Dick Maas um, starring Hoop Stable Monique van der Ven Serge Hendrik Valk and then the music as well is done by Dick Maas as well so can't wait for you to hear my thoughts on this and yes this is actually set in Amsterdam but they couldn't um, for copyright and certain purposes they couldn't film on that famous street so they filmed on another street which is still good enough so here we go we are watching Amsterdam halfway through the film I'll show you what I'm watching and then the end of the film I'll tell you my thoughts I'm excited for this Go Amsterdam, Amsterdam. You'll hear that. What I will do as well, I'll try not to get a copyrighted, but I'm going to let you listen to the ending of the music. As soon as it finishes, I'm going to let you listen to the end. Why I love this film so much. That song at the end gets me every time. So, I'll see you in a bit. I'm back. We're literally just over halfway through the film and. <laughs> Here we go. Someone's just been taken in and arrested. Okay. You can refuse to answer, but it's not going to help you. Your ass is nailed to the wall, buddy. I'm not a murderer, I told you. Yeah? Let's hear you talk. Oh, stop it. Innocent people, they don't fear us. Guilty people run. Good murderer. That's right, isn't it? You might as well confess, because we'll get it out of you sooner or later. I want a lawyer. Listen to me. I'm going to put you in prison for life. Five innocent people are there, and you are the butcher. This is why I love this film so much. It's just so hilarious. You've got horror, you've got cheesiness, and so, just all sorts of different stuff in it. It's just mental. It, huh? So, yeah. Now I'm going to carry on watching the end of the film now. And then I'll tell you my thoughts. I'm going to hopefully put the end, the music to the ending of this as well. You'll enjoy that as well. Hope I don't get copyrighted for that. But I don't care. I just want you to listen to the music and why I like this film so much. So, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Ciao. When I told you about the song at the end, this is it.
I'll be back on my final thoughts in a second. I'll just let you on to let you to listen to that little bit at the end. And I just love this song so much. It's just cheesy and everything. I'll be back in a minute. Hello, hello. I am back. We are. We've just finished Amsterdam, and um, every time I watch this movie, it's for me. It's similar to where. Um, Blade in the Dark, it just gets better and better and better every time I watch it. So, it's like unreal. It's also one of them cheesy, che cheese-tastic, I'm going to say cheese-tastic for a reason. It's not crap-tastic because I absolutely love the movie. Um, I just think it's just highly hilarious, but what I do love about it is because I love the story. I love the backstory to it which is insane basically a guy loved diving that much and then he went somewhere and he was taking a load of cargo back and chemical waste landed on him and disfigured his face so three years later he started this killing spree no one knows why but he started this killing spree of like they said it was like the humane society like a prostitute um, a charity worker um, fishermen um, a girl just swimming on the canal minding her own business and he just went on this killing spree and just started killing everybody and everyone thought it was Martin who used to dive, he stopped diving because of his friend who was the guy that got disfigured and the, it's so good how the police officer he's his name is Hoop Stabler that's his actual name Hoop Stabler I think his name is Eric in this and yeah and it just it just all comes together at the end and it's just so it's fun it's one of those fun horrors that you could watch over and over again with an amazing backstory to it and i just love how the police just kicked butt especially in that speedboat scene where eric goes after the killer just goes after him balls to the wall with a speedboat you have to see it to believe it it's just insane incredible and you know what i'm gonna give for this I can't give it no less than 10 because of everything I like in the film and I love it and I would watch it again and again and again. It's not only a movie that I would recommend, this is number, f by the way this is my number 4 favourite movie of horror film of all time, would you believe it? Number bloody well 4, yeah, so yeah, it's all good. Now. Give me a couple of minutes, I'll be back. We'll talk about the beginning of the second one. So one down, two to go. I think we're going to be finishing at five o'clock this morning with all this. But hey ho, that's what happens when you want to watch films and have fun. So yeah, I will be back with number two movie. And you're going to like this one, I think. I hope you like it. I really do. hope you like it. Talk soon. I am back, we are back with number two movie. We're just travelling to a couple of years ahead to 1992. Another film that's directed by Lamberto Barber. We've had a couple of movies in this directed by Lamberto Barber in this Hall Halloween horror movie man marathon series. So yeah. We're doing body puzzle. An incredible giallo gem. So, yeah. If you like your giallos and your holler, horror, you're going to love this. And you're going to like me talking about it. This is one that, this was the one that I was talking about that I've watched, but I couldn't get into it properly. So this time round, I'm going to get into this. I'm going to show you halfway through and then I'm going to let you know my thoughts and... Stuff like that. 
Oh yeah, the other name for Body Puzzle is also called Mysteria and this is 31 in the 88 films Italian collection series. You know how I love my Italian flips, so I'm going to get into this for halfway through and oh this is only 99 minutes. So this is 1 hour 39 minutes, so it's not too bad, not too bad, so yeah. I'm going to watch it halfway through, show you what I'm watching, a, a snippet of the film, and then we'll talk about it at the end. See you soon. I'm halfway through body puzzle now, so here's a little scene for you. So he always had money? Oh, yes. Did he do drugs? Never used heavy stuff, never. Coke? Occasionally. He seemed to know where to get it. He wasn't an addict or anything. Why these questions? You think he might have been dealing? <laughs> no, he was not that kind of a person. I have something for you. So yeah, I'm gonna back gonna watch back the film now and I will give you my thoughts and all that at the end. And now I'm all I'll say is now I'm starting to understand this film. <laughs> now I'm starting to understand this film a little bit better now, so yeah. So I'll talk to you guys at the end. Talk to you. Hey I'm back, just finished watching the second movie, which is Body Puzzle, also known as Mysteria. Now, after I've watched the second movie, I've started to understand a bit more about the story and the plot and stuff like that. Now, basically, what it centers around is this killer. And basically, the killer goes on this killing spree and he's trying to make up parts, as what it says, exactly the title of the film, Body Puzzle. He's making um, parts of the body to make up this puzzle of his friend. Rad. Um, but we all thought that the dead, like peace, the police were saying, oh, the dead guy is Abe. Now, as the story further untolds in this, um, basically everyone thought Abe was Tracy's husband. Abe wasn't Tracy's husband. Abe was called Rad. Rad. The guy that passed away is actually Tracy's brother. Now, Rad the killer was actually Tracy's husband. But Tracy couldn't, like, recognise him and stuff like that. And then also, um, because he went crazy. So, anyway, and he, but what I love about this film is he, he kills people to classical music. He listens to classical music and then he goes on this killing spree. Which I thought, wow, this is really, really cool. It's like a bit different to when someone starts to kill someone. You get usually when you kill somebody in films, you, you get that up tempo music. Nope, it, with this, it's classical music, and I was like, ooh, this is a bit different. It's not bad for the. I don't now because I've watched it a second time. It had a better, I better understood the story. And yeah, obviously the police find him in the end because he crashes the car. And uh, it, it's got a good ending to it. It's got a little bit of a twist end to it. So you have to see the twist end and to find out more. So anyway, my thoughts on this. Pretty good. Enjoyed the story for what it was. And now watching it for the second time, I do appreciate it a little bit more. So for that, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. And I, because I really enjoyed it the second time round, the first time round, I was like, nah, I couldn't really get into it. Now, because I've got into the story a little bit more, 8 out of 10, that's why. 
and I mean a lot of stuff happened so you've got to watch it to um, to see for yourself so anyway enough about that we'll go on to the final movie now so we'll talk about that it'll be a couple of seconds for you guys but a couple of minutes for me so yeah see you in a bit ciao hey we are back for the very final movie of this halloween movie horror movie marathon and this is a film i've never watched before this is a film that's come out in 2012, so 20 years after the last film. Um, this is produced by Eric Hungerford, written and directed both by Andy Mitten and Jesse Holland. This stars Michael Larino, Anessa Ramsey, Alex Draper, Cassidy Freeman, Clark Freeman, Tara Giordano, your Dano, yeah. Sam Elmore, Laura Heisler, and Lee Wilcoff. The movie I'm on about is Yellow Brick Road. I know. You'd be like, Skyler, Yellow Brick Road? You're including this? I've got to. I've been, I will tell you a little secret before we get into this. I saw somebody review this and I was like so hooked and I was like I have to own this film. I've owned this film for about ooh, for about three, four years now. Never had a chance to watch it or maybe longer. Is it 2000? Oh it's longer, it's five years actually. So I've owned this movie now for five years. Never had a chance to watch it. Now we're doing it. So yeah, I've heard amazing things about this movie. So I need to know what I'm gonna, what's gonna be expected of this film. So I'm going in this film very blind. After only seeing a couple of reviews on YouTube of this film. So yeah, what I'll do is I will do halfway through the film and then I'll do my final thoughts so yeah I'm excited so let's get into this movie sorry up bare chest <laughs> so yeah see you soon hey, it's me halfway through the last film there you go the scene I'm watching right now it's just over half uh, all I'll say is this is a very slow burner for me and I'm very hit and miss with this right now it's got a good plot good story to it so far but that's what's happening If you're wondering what I'm watching, this is halfway through Yellow Brick Road. So, yeah, I'll sit down now and I will tell you what I think of this when we are finished. If that's okay with you guys, talk to you guys soon. Hey, I am back. Final movie done and dusted in this Halloween. Horror movie marathon series, and unfortunately, Yellow Brick Road was for me a disappointment. I am so sorry. Um, this has given me this actually gave me Blair Witch Project vibes, and you know I do I did really like the first Blair Witch Project, but. Don't get me wrong, story was okay, but it was so slow. Well, I'm like, where's the first kill gonna start? 14 minutes in the movie, someone pulls someone's legs off. 
I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? And like, everyone one by one got killed apart from one character. And like, someone fell off a cliff. Someone's neck was twisted off. Someone else got stabbed. So, and someone else got stabbed. And then the guy at the end, who watched the movie at the beginning and went to see um, someone in the pictures, went back to the pictures. And then this usher said, sit down. And then was watching something that it just blew my mind. It just was f basically a bit of a mess of a movie, to be honest. And then he was just so badly traumatised, he started screaming. Because this was like, this was talking about what happened in the 1940s and then they go and investigate it, like nothing. And then every time they heard this music, all they were doing was fucking killing each other and fucking it was doing something to their minds. To be honest, the movie for me was forgettable. I didn't really like it. So yeah, for me, this is this. I am going as low as 3 out of 10 for this. I was going in with this, being told by loads of different people, Oh, Sky, this movie's really good. Yellow Brick Road's really good. You need to see this. It's better than Blair Witch Project and Paranormal Activity. I'm like, what? And then I comes to watch the film and I'm like, what the fuck have I just watched? I am not going to get back that an hour and 40 odd minutes that of an hour and 40 minutes that I was um that I just watched. I'm not going to get that back. To me, that it was one of the most boringest films I've ever watched in my life. There's a movie that I also found boring and it's called Frozen from around the same year. And I thought that was fucking boring. That to me is a piece of garbage. That. Bad Dreams was better than this. And I, and I threw Bad Dreams away. So this is what I think of Yellow Brick Road. That's what I think of the movie. That is what I thought of the movie. It was a load of shit. The worst, one of the worst films I've ever seen in my life. So yeah, I threw that away like I did with Bad Dreams. But to me, Bad Dreams had a better story than that did. So yeah. So anyway, end of my Halloween movie marathon series. Hope you enjoyed the videos, all the videos. Um, um, let me know you guys' thoughts. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Turn that notification bell on you get a brand new video from me soon. I do have a video coming up next week. Um, talking about something else. Um, so yeah. I just hope that you do this and that you do enjoy this. And Sorry about my outburst of my review of Yellow Brick Road. But that's how I feel and that's how I feel to be honest. So yeah. Stay gory and have unpleasant dreams and I will see you all soon in the next video and that will be soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye.